Tyrion? Uh, so I would like to go back to mosaic of information, as you said. So it looks like uh, you have some information, uh, but maybe you have some evidence, for example, of uh, Russian airstrikes and hospitals in Aleppo, for example. Uh, but uh, you're not ready to uh, share it public, make it public. And so I would like to know, do you have uh, real evidence of these strikes uh, conducted by Russia, as you claim? And uh, are you ready to discuss it with the uh, Russian side, for example, in Geneva talks or something else? Well, um, I've talked about this several times over the last several days. Um, uh, so let me just restate. Uh, it is not the United States making these claims. It is reputable aid agencies. And you can go look for yourself on the website we of the World. Oh, hang on a second. Let me finish now. I'll let you. World Health Organization, or Doctors Without Borders, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. You can turn on CNN today and look at some pretty gripping footage. Uh, what's going on in Aleppo. Um, you can read reports out of the Associated Press who are quoting doctors uh, who now have no place to work uh, uh, or are being used or being forced to, to, to operate and to treat patients in basements with unsanitary conditions. Um, this isn't the United States leveling claims and allegations. Uh, this is a, an international consensus of reputable agencies and organizations and news outlets that are seeing for themselves and talking to people on the ground about the bombing of hospitals and care facilities. And I said just the other day, sir, that I'm not saying it's Russian planes or Syrian planes. It's got to be one or the other. And even if it's not Russian planes, if it's just Syrian planes, as we've said before, Russia bears the ultimate responsibility for the influence that we know they have over the Assad regime, which they can, uh, which they can utilize uh, to stop this. Um, now, the second part of your question, ha you know, uh, are we waiting for Geneva? We have been, <laughs> I've been nothing but open about our concerns about Aleppo here from this podium every single day for the last week. Um, there isn't a single time that, uh, that the Secretary hasn't talked to Foreign Minister Lavrov, certainly uh, in recent weeks where he hasn't talked about uh, Aleppo, including when we were in Luzon, you know, a month or so ago. So this is not something that we're waiting to talk about with no, Russian officials. I, I We're doing it on a routine, regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, now, it, obviously, the, 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 the Russians have chosen, for whatever reason, not to use the influence that we know they have on Assad to get this to stop. Uh, and as I went through yesterday with Matt uh, in quite some detail, that doesn't mean that we aren't going to continue to try to reach some progress in Geneva. Uh, and again, that was the topic of discussion today when he talked to the foreign minister. But okay. the point is that Russia uh, doesn't agree with uh, these accusations. Uh, they can speak for themselves, uh, and these aren't accusations. Uh, these, are, these are observations and claims by a number of reputable aid agencies who are there on the ground or have representatives on the ground. Well, yeah, just uh, for example, we, we contacted with uh, one of these organizations uh, that uh, reported last week, a health cluster Turkish hub reported about five uh, hospitals bombed in Aleppo and Idlib, but they don't have information who did that. So um, just actually uh, well, the who, question who, is- uh, Who do you why, suppose did it then? Huh? Who, who do you suppose they did it? They don't know. That? Because they have a report and there are no words about- And, uh, and as Russian I said Russian yesterday, bombing. as I said yesterday, look, I, don't want, I really don't want to get into a rhetorical debate about this. Somebody's bombing these hospitals, right? Yes. That's we true. agree on that, right? We agree that hospitals are being bombed, yes. right? And they're being shelled. We know it's not the coalition, and it's certainly not the United States doing it, you right? Know. Okay, so we're good there. So that means that there's only two sources, the Russian military or the Syrian military, actually three, or both, right? Could be one or the other or both. And as I said yesterday, and as I think I said to other colleagues from the Russian press, I don't know, and I'm not going to get into haggling over the, the, the order of battle or the tactical operations being done every day. Um, I don't know whose country's airplanes are dropping these bombs or whose forces on the ground are shelling. Uh, and frankly, it's either the Syrians or the Russians or both. And given that that's the universe of possibility, it's kind of, in a way, irrelevant who's actually pulling the trigger. The trigger's being pulled, people are dying, hospitals are being destroyed, and that needs to stop. And the Russians have it within their power and their influence to do that. Because we've seen in the past, 
when cessation of hostilities have been put in place and have been observed, that when the Russians are, are willing to do it, they can use their very strong influence on Assad to, reach a, to, to achieve a better outcome, to stop the bloodshed and the violence. Did you have a question?